conduit from the power source to the switch. To verify this, move the meter to the connections at the switch and check with the meter on both sides of the switch. On this side of the switch, the circuit indicates high resistance or no continuity. But on this side, the meter indicates the short. So the trouble has been identified and located. The short circuit is removed and the circuit is checked once again with the ohm meter. This time, the circuit checks out properly. So it is now safe to replace the fuse and the circuit is placed back in service. This time, let's examine another case where we come on the trouble site to find a blown fuse. Once again, to deal with the circuit safely, remove the wires from the power source. Remove the other elements in the circuit by opening the switch and removing the bulb. This time, instead of using a multimeter, let's use a buzzer type continuity tester. This tester is simply a small door buzzer and a dry cell battery. When the two test leads are brought together, the current activates the buzzer and it makes a sound. Thus, when the leads are placed on a circuit under test, no sound means no continuity while this sound means continuity. First, checking between the two conductors indicates that there is no short circuit in the first section of the circuit. And there is no continuity between the hot conductor and ground in this section. However, between the hot conductor